Welcome back to the breakdowns. Here we're going to be taking a look at a medium sized six function button mouse here. Now we'll be breaking down the pros and cons of this. This is a very budget friendly mouse with six buttons. How does it compare to other more well known my mouse on the market? Is it mice mouses on the market? Leave me a comment. Let me know. We're going to be breaking down the pros and cons of this. Let you know everything you need to know about and a whole lot more here in a minute. First though, a few disclaimers. This is not a review. You know, I actually picked this up for us to use in the house on a great Black Friday deal. We're going to bring you a review here after we've been playing around with it. Second, with this, pricing on it changes so rapidly. I hate to give you a price, have it be wrong. I will put a link to it on Amazon in the first pinned comment and in the show notes down below. You can find it there. If you have any questions I don't happen to answer, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Hopefully, we can help answer your questions here on this channel in the comments down below. Lastly, before we get into the full review, could you help me grow the channel? Could you help me support my family? All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people helping us grow this channel. Let's start off taking a look at the, the actual mouse. It's a pretty standard mouse. Uh, standard ergonomical design, you've probably seen the slight turn here for right-handed users. Two buttons on the side. I always use these for jumping back and forth, forward and back on browsing. Makes it really quick to get around websites and more. You have two standard left and right clicks up here, a scroll wheel, which is also another button. And then this button right here. Now this is technically counted towards the six buttons, but it's actually not something you can interact on the computer. This actually changes how sensitive the mouse is, which is really nice. A lot of gamers love that because they can increase or decrease the sensitivity of the mouse, allowing them for, to uh, get a little bit more accurate while gaming. But it's also very nice because not everybody likes the same sensitivity and this allows you to quickly move around. Sometimes I like a little bit more sensitivity when I'm editing videos. I'm trying to grab a very specific spot on the screen to maybe clip something, etc. But it's important to know there's five buttons here you can actually program to do stuff on the screen. Left click, right click, and more with it. So keep that in mind. On the bottom here, you do have the standard sensor on off button. You slide this down. Power bank here, two AA batteries, not included, and the standard USB receiver here with this. Which is really nice, so very easy to place in there and hold, or and store it while you're traveling between the devices. The um, glide pads here, these are some of the best tellers of how nice a, mic a mouse would be. The bigger the glide pad, the better it's going to glide across your desk, keyboard, mouse pad, whatever. Let's take a look at everything that came with us and talk about it real quick. One of the main complaints I've seen people talk about with this mouse, and I was not experiencing it, is that the, le the left and right buttons on the, on the side of the mouse where your thumb is, that I use to jump back and forth between web pages, didn't work by default. Now, if that happens to you, you can just go into the settings on your Windows or Mac and change the button defaults there to do whatever you want them to do with it. For me though, with a Windows 11 PC, when I plug this in, those instantly worked by default as the forward and back. I don't know if that's because at some point I had set a default in there or because my old mouse did that, this mouse automatically did it for my computer. I don't know, but for me, it worked perfectly for that. Now, a few things I would say off the bat with this. It's an okay quality. You're getting a budget-friendly, medium-sized mouse. It's not a huge mouse, it's not from massive hands. It's not a very small travel mouse. You've seen some very tiny ones over time. But things like the clicking noise on it are a little louder than I would say more expensive models. But everything feels really good. Everything worked well. I thought it was an appropriate level of sensitivity for the mouse buttons. When I use this compared to my Logitech mouse, that was just a similar price mid-sized mouse like this, I was actually pretty pleased. It worked out just like I would expect and I had no issues. Sensitivity on this was no problem. On a wooden desk, it worked fine. On my black mouse pad, it worked fine without any problems. It did a good job being sensitive and responsive as I moved across the screen. Would I necessarily use this as a gaming mouse to play Call of Duty or some other games? Probably not. But for average everyday use for surfing the web, editing videos, typing up um, posts, and a whole lot more, this is a great mouse for that. I have no issues with it, and I would say two thumbs up. For a budget-friendly mouse for everyday basic office home use, this is an excellent mouse. Durability, okay. In our testing, everything worked as it should without any issues. We had no problems at any time connecting it, setting it up using it and at no point did we say "Ooh, that doesn't feel good that feels like that's about to break we had no problems with it so two thumbs up overall again 
there are better my mouse on the market. I'm not sure at this price point though. If you wanna get a good gaming mouse, you're gonna pay a lot more money. If you want just a basic mouse, this is a great option for you. So I'll put a link to it in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to try to answer your questions in the comments down below. If this video helped you, do me a big favor, help us out, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. We post videos almost every day. So until next time, take care, be safe. We'll be back again real soon.